guys. We are in beautiful Comanche Cove, St. Augustine, Florida. Very special listing today. The great catch, an homage to the first mate. So hopefully you'll want to maintain the name, but it's a 2020 Pursuit Offshore 355. Coming up the boat. Length overall is 37 feet, 11 inches. Beam is 12 feet, 388 gallons of fuel. Uh, 50 gallons of fresh water. Uh, 28 gallon holding tank. So you can really weekend on this boat. Uh, comes in handy for the family. And as you'll see later in the video in the cabin, uh, really good treatments and touches for the midship and the forward berthing areas. Um, I'll try to touch on all the accessories on the boat. Uh, it does have the forward sun pad with the filler for the escape hatch. And then the big laminated windshield. So as we go inside the bridge deck, uh, hopefully, I don't think you can see it on video, but uh, the laminated windshield actually uh, removes the heat treated rainbowing that you get when you look at things through polarized lenses. So you get a, a much clearer picture of what's out in front of you. Um, all these external portholes and then real functional uh, hull side windows. <clears throat> Coming down the boat, uh, entry from the dock. If you don't have a floating dock on either side, you have these nice boarding steps. Um, single tank, you do have two filling locations on either side. And then entering the boat from the big swim platforms. This one is equipped with the triple Yamaha 300s uh, hydraulic kill master. And you can see that we also added the reverso flush system to this one. So you just gotta plug the hose in, hit the button once, and uh, let them flush for 15 minutes or twice for seven and a half. Uh, city water inlet, and then 50 amp shore power on a Glendenning reel, so that's on a remote. Uh, it'll suck it in and then you have your waste pump out at the marina your blower port coming out of the bilge so you're about to fire the generator off which is a diesel generator 12 kw fisher panda there's the diesel fill <clears throat> and that um has a 24 gallon tank on that as well uh 28 gallon live well back through this compartment which I can't lift it out with one hand. Everything on the boat comes with the boat too. So we have a pump out fitting. Um, you have some flares, floating, uh, some more fenders, all kinds of good stuff. And then you also have a cutting board, tackle storage, lure tubes, uh, tool storage over here. You can see the gaff. And then we have rod holders, pop-up cleats, uh, big, so you can put, you know, half inch lines big lines on there it's a heavy boat 17,470 pounds dry with engines with the triple setup i believe and then about the same with the uh, yamaha 425s on it as well we also upgraded to the stamoid fabric with the easy 2cy um 60 mil or stratoglass i don't remember what brand it is in 2020 uh, but staying in the cockpit more rod holders over here fire extinguisher and more tool storage um, there was an option to do a starboard side fold down seat, but we elected not to do that. Uh, leave more room in the combing. Door shuts, magnet. You also have hot water and cold water in the cockpit. Cockpit lights, so you can turn them on as you enter the boat. And then a fresh water shower. Uh, more fishability. Uh, you have a raw water there with a quick connect hose. Big fish boxes on either side. And as you see they can go up in there probably you know, almost five feet, I would think. Nice and deep, probably about 16 inches deep. <clears throat> and they are um, diaphragm pump macerators, so you don't have to worry about hooks, weights, things like that. And then coming into the mechanical space, we have the cockpit table, and then the table leg, which you can see goes in the deck there. And then all of our strainers, which we do have some extra uh, strainers he bought. Um, all your Helmaster pumps are tucked up nice underneath this ledge so if the drain is overcome hopefully you don't get it on your Hellmaster pumps you can see the ac strainers do have a little bit of corrosion on them but nothing serious reverso system down there working i think that's a water heater water filter fuel filters are easy to get to it's one of the beautiful things about pursuit is a <coughs> very well engineered product things are usually pretty easy to get to you can see all your through holes and I think even your uh, macerators over here, your air conditioner pickup, Jenny pickup, Jenny's forward. Again, easy to work on, easy to get to. And then we have a starboard side fish box as well. 
those steps going up and into the dock. Cooler space under both half facing seats. And then you can pull those backrests off for access to like that cooler box back there. Um, just access though, it's not meant to be gotten into all the time. Another cooler space here. And then oh, you won't find this on, well, probably not find this on any other 355s. But we swapped this tackle center because he liked the tackle center better than the five gallon bucket storage. But we have a grill controller, a 12 volt, <clears throat> not 12 volt, alternating current, 110 outlet. So if you have a blender or something you want to run in the little galley out here, you can do that with the Kenyan electric grill, which will run off Jenny or Shore Power. So you can use that anytime on this boat. Sink, again, more corning cutting surface, um, more rod holders. We did not do the rocket launcher on this one. We do have the make fast shade, which will deploy um, nice big stainless anchor locker and then uh, Wi-Fi. So you pick up Wi-Fi at the dock, you turn it into your own network on that one. Uh, AM FM, four foot open array antenna, uh, taco 390s, I believe with, I don't remember the size poles we put in are 20s, but nice and long, very clean setup, TV antenna, porthole ventilations or your skylights or whatever you want to call those things bomar hatches there's your escape hatch and again we do have the cushions you can see the zippers snaps and then tracks and then i don't think he's ever deployed the anchor because of Hellmaster and having stay point and set point and everything so all the ground tackles super clean anchors in great shape walkers in great shape and this is a very very well cared for boat might as well be brand new freshwater raw water up here your windlass and then coming back on starboard side freshwater fill more rod holders and then coming into the bridge deck we do have a door that zips in here because we do have a bridge deck air condition that's separate from the cabin AC which is nice because you can keep it nice and cool in here and then we also have a freezer plate behind the captain's chair, freezer box, freezer plate, whatever you want to call it. And then your Garmin factory installed electronics, uh, GHC 20, Helm Air. And we'll go ahead and grab the keys so I can get some hours off the engine so we can get some exact hours. But there's all your Hellmaster joystick, Linko trim tabs, upgraded pinnacle with all your speed control, station trim assist. A single lever, lever, lever throttle, jeez Louise, that's hard to say. Center engine, uh, you can go free throttle like a neutral. Uh, individual tilt trims for each engine. And then all of your other switches over here. And then, guys at the factory like to call this the Brad Step because I'm like 5'7 on a good day. So you can deploy that, getting a very nice view through that big laminated windshield. Storage again, everywhere, glove box, glove box over there big center vent in the windshield uh, overhead lighting red white blue and then again those bomar hatch vents big side windows the level of visibility coming you know this through this boat is phenomenal Oop, here's the keys so two beeps unlock and then one button is all and then you have port center starboard. Uh, CL7 gauge. So this is basically a seven inch Garmin uh, with the other two 12 inch Garmins. I mean, even just a little touch, just a little teak thing there. Uh, and this, you can kind of set a cell phone up there without worrying about it falling off. Menu trip. There you go, 168 total hours 169 on starboard pre unbelievable no total 168 yeah all total 168 and then uh, we had the Jenny at 162 so again not not used all that often kept in very good shape whoever gets great catch will have a great catch <laughs> Some more pictures of the interior, another AC outlet over here. Armrest. Jail audio. 
Um, there's the taco outriggers, which are reverse, so you can pull them in to the boat, and then the outriggers are deployed. So they had those reversed just for their hardtop boats. And then coming down into the cabin, we have the main door and screen door. Stairs strategically positioned with non-skid. Thanks, Phil. <laughs> and then you see the V-berth mirror up there, port side windows with shades so you can block those off. But you get a lot of natural light in here to keep it nice and bright. Escape hatch, starboard side, TV, and then they used to equip these with Apple TV so that module fits perfectly in this little cubby. You have an AC outlet there, a carbon monoxide detector, and then all of your um, alternating current systems are here. So we're currently still on shore power. So you can see we have the cooling pump turned on. There is no power sharing either. The only real power sharing is going from shore power to generator. So we'd have to turn off shore power, swap over to Jenny. Uh, but you can see your voltmeter there, your water witch high water alarm, and then your fresh water tank, blower, switch for the bilge, Jenny, Fisher Panda, 12KW, 160.2 hours on it. So again, no power sharing here. You can run all systems off of generator or shore power. It's 50 amp. Uh, access, that's locked access, galley. And like I said, this is the V berth with the table in the up position. And then we can go ahead and put that down for you. And then the bed conversion. And there is a stowage of underneath here for the bow thruster, bow thruster battery. And then we have the comforter that goes on here, but nice long, I know, 6263 six, fits on here queen size sleeper and then when it is converted to the bed you do have some stowage cup holder put your books whatever in there and then you have the courtesy light switch on port side here so you can turn the lights on and off and then coming over into the galley due to the wider beam we get a longer galley with a sink two burner microwave and then all kinds of stowage for all your stuff fridge with side freezer more stowage and then into our midship we have a hanging locker I'm sorry not a hanging locker that's next door more stowage here turn the lights back here and then you have your hanging locker here with this cushion blocking which this cushion is no longer provided on these boats so bonus and then a full-size sleeper back here these cushions are the bow sun pad filler and then you can see the rod storage ac intake for cabin air plenty of lights back here actually a little bit of space to move around and then coming into the head compartment more natural lights light switches stowage everywhere big locker here and this door also folds out to separate the wet head and you can see the macerator system, shower system, toilet, and then I'll show you this. So nice big cabinet. And then again, this door connects here and gives you a nice shower space. Plenty of room. And then what I really like, again, Pursuit being an engineering company, they think like a big boat builder and they give you this water i forget what they call it manifold but if you have something on either your hot <clears throat> or your cold side go bad and you're leaking or something you can turn just that portion of the system off and still have your fresh water everywhere else some pretty cool stuff but if you have any questions about great catch or anything else on the lot Call Brad or Barton, 904-644-7631, or you can always get us at Yamaha Marine, JAX.com.